Hey guys, Nick from KN Tech, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Today I'm going to be doing a review of an old laptop. Well, that's kind of boring, I hear you say. Well, yeah, it kind of is, but you know, let's see how things work out. So this old laptop is actually made by Asus, uh, and they made it in collaboration with Lamborghini. And you can see it right here, it's bright yellow, it's got the Lamborghini logo on it. Uh, it's actually the Lamborghini VX2S laptop from Asus. Uh, now when it came out, it was actually quite an expensive laptop. It cost just over, uh, just over 3,000 US dollars, which is just over 2,000 uh, pounds. And it came out in 2010. It was pretty top of the range at the time. Uh, as you can expect, anything that's collaborating with Lamborghini, you'd expect it to be. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna fire it up, see how it performs. Uh, we'll do some gaming on it. We'll do some uh, benchmarks on it. And we're gonna compare that to uh, a three-year-old gaming laptop I have, which is a Dell Inspiron. Uh, just to see how the two can be. We know how the two are going to actually work out, but just to see how it kind of uh, pans out, uh, see how it compares and see if it's actually useful uh, in today's world. Stick around, guys. We'll see how it turns out. Okay, so what I've done is I've run a couple of benchmarks. Uh, so I've used um, Passmark uh, Performance Test uh, 9.0, uh, I've used the 32-bit version on both machines because obviously the Asus is a 32-bit machine. Uh, whilst the Dell is a 64-bit machine, I thought it would be fair to use the same version of the same software to test both of them. Uh, and I've also used Geekbench as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put those uh, figures up on screen while we quickly go through them. So it's no real surprise really that the, uh, the Dell has actually outperformed the, the old the Lamborghini Asus. Um, but it's more how much it's outperformed it by, really, which is quite surprising. Um, if you think, if you look at the overall score, uh, the overall pass mark score for the Asus, it's 661, which puts it in only the it puts it in the bottom 10% of um, performance uh, as of this moment. Uh, and when you look at the uh, the Dell, it's uh, 3,888, which puts it uh, in the top 18%. Uh, uh, which is a big difference really when you think about it. I know the Asus is a 2010 machine uh, and the uh, Dell is actually a 2019 machine, so it's nine years newer, but the actual amount of performance increase in those nine years is quite staggering really. Uh, it's, 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 more than, it's more than quadruple performance in those uh, nine years. So the plan I actually had for these two machines was to uh, load up some games on it and see how they performed uh, side by side in some gaming. Uh, I was going to use something like Counter-Strike Go uh, because it's a reasonably uh, low performance game and doesn't require a huge amount of graphical or processing power to, to actually run play at a reasonable level. Uh, the problem I had was I couldn't actually find a 32-bit version of the Steam client in order to be able to download the game and play it. Uh, I had the same problem with uh, quite a few games I tried to get on board. Uh, I tried to get some 32-bit versions of the game loaders. Uh, unfortunately, most of the big game platforms at the moment don't actually have any 32-bit versions. By all means, if you guys know of one that I could give it a go, then by all means, uh, stick a message in the, uh, in the comments down below and let me know which one I should try. Um, so basically, this was just kind of really to see if this, uh, this laptop is actually uh, worth hanging on to and whether it's worth uh, keeping or whether it's worth using. Uh, I think the question to that is, is it worth hanging on to, is it worth keeping? Yeah, absolutely, it's definitely worth keeping. Uh, it's a little piece of computing history here. It's a uh, Lamborghini branded uh, with all the uh, elements that go with it. It's got the nice uh, leather uh, uh, finger pad here, the rest pad here where you can rest your wrists on it, um, which is a little bit of a nice premium touch. Obviously, they, they decided to do that. Um, but in terms of, is it a usable machine for gaming these days? Uh, I think the answer there really has got to be probably not, unfortunately. Um, certainly worth keeping as a piece of memorabilia or a piece of collectible for sure, but probably not going to be any use if you want to use it for gaming. Uh, browsing the web and emails and that kind of thing, absolutely, yeah, you can certainly use it for that. Um, so yeah, it's certainly worth hanging on to. So I hope you liked the video. I know it's a little bit different from what I normally do, but a family member got hold of this laptop um, and they said to me, did you want to hang on to it and, and borrow it for a little while and see what you can do with it? So I thought I'd do something that's a little bit different, you know, maybe a little bit of a comparison. Um, so thanks for watching the video, guys. Uh, I hope you liked it. Uh, don't forget to hit the bell notification along with the subscribe button on the way out. Don't forget to hit the like button if you liked it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one.